Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record a customer discount. My name is Matt Hulquist with QuickBooks University and I want to walk through uh, how to set up in QuickBooks uh, giving a customer a discount. So it could be that you uh, create an invoice or a sales receipt and you want to give some kind of discount. Okay, this could be a uh, courtesy discount or just a you know frequent buyer discount or really any discount that you want to give to a customer I want to show you how to record that in QuickBooks all right first thing we're gonna do you're gonna go to your list okay the list drop down uh, menu here and go to your item list all right so because we're gonna reflect this on an invoice or a sales receipt we want to set up an item for it and direct it to the appropriate account so first things first you got to set up a, an item so I'm going to go to this uh, item here and go to new. All right, so the type, you're going to have a, a type here that says discount. All right, so you're going to choose discount. We're going to call this a courtesy discount. All right, you can make it a sub item of something. In this case, we're not going to. We're just going to make it a uh, its own item and a uh, description here let's call this a you can call it whatever you want but or type in whatever you want but we'll just say courtesy discount and then when it comes up on an invoice you can change it to whatever you want the description to be uh, but you can also put it in here so it automatically comes up now you can choose if you want this to be an amount or a percent of the invoice or you can leave it at zero if you leave it at zero and then put it on an invoice you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Or you can put in a flat amount to say, hey, courtesy discount is going to be 10%. All right. Let me put in a percent sign here so that it knows. Let me put this here. Because if you just put in 10, it's going to put in dollars. So the, the discount would be $10. So you make sure you put in a percent if this is going to be a percent. Now we have to put it to an account. And an account, I like to... I don't like to offset it directly with sales. I like to put it to some kind of discount account. All right, in this case here, they do have a referral discount uh, or less discounts given. You can put it as courtesy discount. And this way you can track this discount separately to see how much discount that you're actually giving to your customers uh, because it's a cost at the end of the day and you wanna be able to track that separately. We'll say that this is less discounts given all right, so this, what this means is when I put it here, uh, anytime I do an invoice, say I do it for $1,000, my sales, my income or my revenue will show up as $1,000. And if I give up, you know, a 10% discount, that's $100, then it's going to show a discount of 100 and then the net invoice will be 900 bucks. So the discount, that $100 will go to this less discounts given account. And that way, I can see my total revenue and my discounts. All right, tax code, tax discount is applied before sales tax. All right, if you don't have sales tax, uh, you know, it's it shouldn't show up here. Uh, but of course, if this is a discount on services or you don't have sales tax, you put non-taxable sales. So you just really have to check in your jurisdiction and where you live and, and, and what the rules are there to make sure that you set that up right. So we're gonna say tax, we're gonna hit okay. So let's go over and we're going to create an invoice. All right, so we'll say create invoices. And again, this could be a sales receipt, doesn't have to be an invoice, it's really just any sale. So let's pick, uh, we'll say XYZ company, uh, we'll put our class, we'll say this is remodel. All right, and let's pick our items. So let's say that we had some install labor uh, at 20 and we had, let's say some concrete slab. All right, we'll say 15. All right, so our total invoice is $2,100. And then we can put in our discount. So we need to go down and find our discount that we set up as an item. All right, so courtesy discount right here. All right, minus 10%. So it did it there on just that amount. Okay, so what you want to make sure that you do, so I'm going to delete this by clicking control delete is what you can do is go down to uh, let's see subtotal okay 
there's our subtotal, $2,100, okay? Now, we can go to our discount and put courtesy discount, and you'll see now 210. Okay, so see what I did there? If we put in that discount, it's just gonna take a discount on the previous item, the, the, the $900, and give you a $90 discount. So what you can do is put in the subtotal right here. It'll subtotal the total invoice, then put in your courtesy discount, and it'll take it on the entire subtotal, $2,100. And there's our uh, minus 10%, and you can type in here anything you want to put. You can also change this 10% right here to be 20 or 15 or 5 or whatever the case may be. Uh, or you can type in a discount amount if you want to make it a custom discount amount. So those are the basics of setting up this discount. Then you would save and close. All right, and now we have our invoice, and we have everything recorded in QuickBooks correctly, and you should be good to go. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. I would love you to have you become a member. A member is somebody who purchases the tutorials, and at that point, they are a member for lifetime. No additional fees. They get their QuickBooks questions answered by me, and uh, they will learn everything they need to know about QuickBooks. So head over there right now, qbuniversity.org.